Alright, what's up you guys, it's Ryder here, and uh, basically today what I wanted to do is make a review on the 316 Wake Jr. Um, this is a bait that I've had a lot of uh, fish in the past few days. This is a very great bait. Um, it's been helping me produce numbers of fish, also um, size, so this is a really great bait. Um, I traded somebody a 316 Freestyle Shad for it and uh, I just have to agree that this is a I love the color it's got great finish as you can see it's got the nice eyes and the fins and detail it's got the owner st 36 hooks I think cutting point there's a two out in the front one out in the back it's got the really thick bill but one thing you can notice about it it's just completely clear so that's really cool. Mickey did a good job designing that. It's got great uh, components, split rings, owner, the joint right here. It's got a it's a single joint, but as you can see, the bait is kind of fat. It doesn't have too much bend to it, but the tail's also loose, so the tail can move freely. Um, this bait is seven and a half inches and weighs three point one ounce. Um, my recommendation on line and uh, rod for this bait. Also, this is in the kokanee color. Pretty neat color. As you can see, it's all white on the bottom, and it's got the little bluish trout pattern on the top, which is really neat. But my recommendation for line, rod, and reel would be the Cardiff 300. It's the 300 size. This is the newer version, uh, not the older one. This is newer model. Um, 20 pound big game line. This is clear. It's just what I recommend. I like the big game. Um, I'm sure other people out there like other stuff, but it's just what I like. And then last, I like to throw it on the Dobbins 795 swim bait rod. It's upside down because I can't turn it, but as you can see right there, hold on, I'll turn it around. As you can see right here, It says all the weighting and stuff, all right there. It's made for uh, one to five ounces, so four to eight inch swim baits, but I wouldn't recommend throwing anything over three and a half, four ounces on it. Just uh, my preparation, because it's not built to be slugging like big punkers like this. This is a... Uh, this is the, uh, I think the 8 inch punker. I don't know, it might be the 6.5. I'm pretty sure it's a 6.5 inch wooden punker. But this bait weighs probably a little over 3.5 ounces, maybe 4. This is a custom color, just so you know, you can't get this color. Um, and, uh, they're really neat, but I wouldn't throw this bait around all day on that rod just because I feel like it puts too much stress on it. But, uh,. I'm going to compare the Wake Jr. with the Baby Wake and the Freestyle Gill, just so you guys know the size difference. So, this is a Wake Jr., and then this is the Baby Wake. A little, just a tad bit in difference, like the length is maybe inch and a half, and the width is still about the same. So, I mean, it's not a much, much bigger bait. But it's definitely um, a lot heavier. It's about an ounce and a half heavier than the Baby Wake, I think. And one thing that you can tell is with the Baby Wake, the bill is completely straight. And the hooks can rub the bill. As you can see, the hooks can touch the bill. But the Wake Jr., the hooks can't touch the bill. They can touch it underneath, but they can't wrap around it. That's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> then I suggest like a 5 to 1 gear ratio real or nothing higher than a 6 3 to 1 because that's just a little high and then here's the Wake Jr. with the freestyle gill as you can see there's not a whole lot difference this is a lot fatter than the gill though as you can tell but the gill is made to, this is made to be a smaller profile bait which is a great bait but uh I just wanted to thank you guys for watching this episode. Uh, 
Ollie Bass 247 and uh, stay tuned for some more great reviews and fish. Thank you.